Okay, I think we're live. Just waiting for YouTube to catch up. Takes about 20 seconds or so. <clears throat> Or longer. <laughs> I had to refresh, but you're on. Oh, okay, good. Yes. Hey, everybody. <laughs> so happy you're here today. I'm excited today, too. And Mary, Mary, yay. <laughs> Mary Hi, Mary. And I am here with the lovely Kimmy and the lovely Michelle Wells. Hello. <laughs> Hi, Grandma. In the house. Whoop, whoop. Hi, Grandma. How are you? Um, we are going to be working on some art journal pages today, so I'm pretty excited about it. And I've got the links for Kimmy's YouTube channel and Michelle's YouTube channel in the description box below, so you guys can go over and subscribe to uh, both of them. You're probably subbed to Kimmy already, but you may not be to Michelle, so definitely go over and show her some YouTube love. And like I said, we're gonna be working on some art journal pages. I have just done like a bit of a sketch here. Like I said, before I came live, I don't know if she'll still look like that when we're done, but that's kind of what we're gonna shoot for. Um, and we're gonna start moving, doing a background and all kinds of things on my page. So let me introduce you to Michelle. So I'm gonna click on Michelle. And she can let you know what she's up to. Over to you, Michelle. All righty. What I'm going to do is create, I have a, um, a journal here that was given to me as a gift, to, or not a journal, but a planner that was given to me a couple years ago. It's Kelly Ray Roberts cover, and I love it. Oh, um, I love that, too. So I'm keeping it and going to add a um, Ode to Outlander journal page. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Hi, Deanna. Hi, Deanna. Hi, Sierra. Hi, Sierra. Ode to Outlander. Awesome. And oh, on yeah. of the season finale. Yeah, it gets stuck in my brain, and I thought this is something I've just got to do. <laughs> well, I've only watched the finale once, so I have to watch it a second time. Oh, oh my I'm God, Kim. I've watched it. I watched it three times now. Um, okay. I watched, Kim I watched. a little more obsessed than me. No, I'm not, but I, just the, <laughs> I watched that. The finale was good. It was great. Yeah, I watched right, it let me, this morning. So. Let me click on you, Kimmy, and you can let them know what you're working on. I am a little slow today, but um, you can see my blank page right now. I'm going to use this cute little image that was sent to me um, as part of a challenge. So she's going to be um, the focal point of my page. And right now I'm just going to do a little quick coat of matte gel on my page before I start sticking stuff down. So I'm kind of going with the fairy theme and this may or may not, I haven't read the challenge or swap guidelines over at um, one of my friend Shannon's groups. This may or may not be an entry into that because I know she's having a things with wings challenge. Yeah, she's having so a fairy challenge. If you guys are having a challenge on your channel, please, post it, you know, in the comments and let us know because we like to support each other and subscribe to each other. Like Kim said, um, Kim, um, Kim, you don't have any challenges right now. I have my big birthday challenge and in my group, I'm planning on posting a swap really soon. And my group is, um, Kim's vintage Rose and crafty friends on Facebook. So you can look for me if you'd like to join that. Um, let's see what else, Kim. Rather plugged in. Um, well, the, something yeah. important. Mary posted in the chat that she's never watched one episode of Outlander. So. Oh, my goodness. How can she be I your friend? I won't hold it against you, bestie. I just won't. Oh, my <laughs> God. How can she be your bestie if that is, in fact, true? Wow. It's life changing. I know. I don't Mary, know you don't know what you're missing, girl. Mm -hmm. I've tried. Believe me. <laughs> That's crazy talk, Mary. Oh, Deanna hasn't either. Oh, my goodness. No interest. Oh, my gosh. Sam Hewen is not cute to you, Mary? Wow. I'm impressed. I didn't <laughs> think any female was, you know, immune to Sam's charms, but I guess we found one. 
<laughs> well, I don't know if she's immune. I think she just works too much. Hey, Marina. Oh, there is that. Hi, Marina. So anyway, I'm just going to start sticking stuff down, basically. And I'm just going to start working a bit on my background here. And I'm just using like a bunch of different paint colors and things. Um, that oh, I like. that's nice, Sarah. Just sh subbed you, Michelle. Oh, what? thank you very much, Sarah. Get the paintbrush out of my mouth. <laughs> Please tell there us. Marina likes that, Lander. Yay. Yay. Um, definitely let us know y'all because we're probably all going to be having our heat tools going at different points. So let us know if they're too loud or if you just turn our volume down or anything like that. Okay. Please. Okay. Grandma's accessories. I'm having a challenge, Kimmy. I'm not on Facebook. I need your address. Uh, can I leave my email for your challenge? Girl, I think your name is Diane. I sent you an email at the email address you gave me and it came back that it was an invalid email address. So I will tell everybody, especially you, my email address to send me um, emails about my challenge is K-I-M-M-I-E. I'll type it in the chat. K-A-Y-N. Yeah, yeah, I'll type it in the chat. And I've also extended the deadline. So I, I believe you're in the U.S., Grandma. So um, I'm going to extend it to like the middle of February. And it's um, make one of the following, choose one. If you want to make all of them, that's fine, but you only get points for one. You make a pocket letter for three entries, a tag, a card for two, or a tag for one. Okay, and here's the email address. Send me an email with your, um, that way I can just hit reply, Diane, and then I will give you my mailing address. I just don't want to put that out there for the world. <laughs> I did try though. <laughs> <laughs> so all I'm doing here is I just took three different colors of three different types of, well, two. these are soy paints. These are all natural paints made by Delta. Um, wow, I've never heard of that. Yeah, um, I have several colors of these. I do love them. I've had them for a really long time and I'm trying to use up what I've got. And then I also use this chalk paint in Amethyst by Paper Artsy. And all I've done is just put kind of blobs behind my girl here. And I'm just going to mix with a little bit of water on my brush these colors together before they get too dry. I love her. She's so pretty. That's okay. And I'm just going to kind of smush them all around together here. Who is she going to be when she's done? She's flat who? Oh, I don't know. She's some lady, some girl. Kim Kim does flat. She's done flat Kimmy, flat Siobhan. So she does, uh, you know, like flat Stanley. Well, those are my my dolls I made. Yes. Yeah. But she names them and, and like inspires them or, you know, makes them after her friends, which is kind of funny. Well, because my friends inspire me. Yeah. Oh, that's very sweet. You have to make flat you. Uh -huh. Flat fuller. Flat fuller, yeah. That's <laughs> never been a thing, flat fuller. <laughs> well, there you go. And I'm working in my 8x8 um, Dilutions journal by Diane Reevely. My Hi, favorite Debbie. One. Hey, um, Debbie. Deanna says she looks like a Disney princess, and you're right. She looks she like, does. Um, who does she look like, Deanna? Which one? I want a bit more turquoise in here. So. She does look like a tropical Hawaiian type Disney princess. Or like maybe Yasmin or Yasmin or something, is who she looks like. Maybe Ari Ariel? Oh, up. she could be Ariel if you made her hair red, too. Well, I kind of wasn't going for the Disney princess, but okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can see that, though. She kind of favors my niece, Rory, and that's who Rory has always put me in the mind of, was Ariel. I'm sorry if you hear noise outside. We're having a blizzard. It's possible you're going to hear... Snowmobiles and the snowplow. 
Goodness. How much snow are you getting? Let's just say a lot. Oh, my goodness. Meanwhile, in Florida, it's 60 degrees. Shush, shush, shush. Our temperatures here tomorrow are going to be as low as 34 below zero. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. I didn't know Ohio got that cold, Michelle. We normally don't. <laughs> I going to say. We were usually like in the teens below zero. This is like unprecedented. So now I'm just going to put a stencil on her. And I'm going to take a baby wipe and wipe some of the paint back. Let me put that down flatter. She looks like Tropical Barbie, Sierra says. <laughs> tropical Barbie. <laughs> well, it's anybody's guess what she'll turn out like. So That's right. <laughs> Oh, Deanna in Pennsylvania, 24 and snowing. Oh, goodness. I think it's like negative 14C here, so I'm not sure what Holy. that is. America oh, temperatures. Goodness. That's, yeah, that's cold, Kimmy. Yep, that's below 32 anyway. Oh, 32 is zero. I'm using my uh, mat gel, and I'm putting little pieces of tissue paper on my page just to let everybody know. Kind of see there, since I've wiped it back, it's left this pattern. I love that stencil. This is a Rebecca Bear stencil I used to design for her. Oh, wow. That's super pretty. Yeah. Did you see what Mary wrote, Kim? No, what's she up to? Tomorrow morning, we will be at negative 54 with the wind chill. <laughs> Oh, my gosh. And you want me to come and visit you? I don't think so, girl. <laughs> if I come, come it'll be in the summer. I'll come visit you or Deanna because I love the snow and I miss it. I'm happy to pack it up and send you some, dear. Please do. That's the bad thing about here. We're not getting any snow. We're just getting the cold temperatures. Do you like the snow, Michelle? I do actually. Living out in the country, it's so beautiful. Yeah. When it snows. No, I'm over it already. <laughs> See, we have it for like six months here. Oh gosh, now I'd lose my mind. Yeah, that's normal. right. Yeah. That's how I feel about summer and heat because that's how it is here. Although, we don't. Yeah. This year, it's been a bit shorter. We didn't really get much snow until January. So because of global warming but you know the, the climates are changing up here in the north anyway that's what my cousin and I was talking about this morning hi well, there's that little hi Angie you're getting snow too so there's the the effect you get with the stencil which is really cool with the paint and you can do that with Anything oh, you can do it with gorgeous. the distress oxides, the distress inks, anything like that. Baby wipes are a great tool for art journalers. I have one in my hand as we speak. So let me click over to you, Kimmy, and you can share what you're up to. I was just about to put my heat gun on, so I'm glad you said Oh, you that. don't want me to come right now, Mary? Fine, okay. No, you can. I was just saying I was about to put my heat tool on, so I'm glad you no, said No, no, I said Mary. Oh. Said, don't come now. <laughs> yeah, no, it wouldn't be in the winter. I just used my matte gel over the entire page, and then I put this tissue paper that's white with little gold hearts. And then oh, I'm, I'm going to keep sticking right. down. I've got vintage book paper, so that's like my next step is going to go down on here, and then I'm going to do some um, gelatoing and water brushing next. So right now I'm in the sticking downy phase. <laughs> technical term there. So I'm just going to kind of do like that to keep my background going. That's going to be gorgeous. Okay, so that's it for me for right now. Oh, I just put that piece of book paper on upside down. Okay, that's really pretty, Kenny. I will click Thank over you. on you, Michelle, and you can show your progress. Okay. Let me know if my heat gun's too loud. Okay.
Okay, so where I'm at is I'm still using um, a matte median gel to put down some, uh, I use some of the Tim Holtz wallpaper for part of the background. And um, awesome. And use some of the white, some white gesso to cover some of the calendar that is remaining behind. Hi, Deanne. I'm adding all the uh, the details. <laughs> That's awesome. Hi, Deanne. I love, I love that idea with the wallpaper. I'm all about the wallpaper. I love that. I got to thinking about Aunt Jacosta's home and all that beautiful wallpaper she oh, had. Oh, right. Oh, yeah. Like I have to incorporate wallpaper somehow. Hey, did you know that fabric? We're talking Outlander in case you just joined. The fabric that Brianna wore on her dress the week she went to see um, what's his face in jail. Oh on yeah, it. yeah. On it. That fabric you can get. It's made by Moda. I seen that online. Yeah. Oh my gosh, what can I make with? <laughs> I don't know, but I'm gonna have to get some and make something. She with will it. be figuring it out what she can make with it, Tris. <laughs> it's so pretty. And I have. I loved. I loved the bedspread and the wallpaper, that purple and gold. Oh my gosh, wasn't that just beautiful? Yes, the bed that Deanna was, or that Brianna was sitting on. I Oh my gosh, yes please. I'll take yeah. some of that. The sets on that show. Yep, Stephen Bonnet, Marina knows. Oh, uh -huh. <laughs> that little bugger. Did he have to be so darn handsome? <laughs> and it's weird because he used to be on... Um, Downton Abbey. I've seen I've never watched one of those. I've never uh -uh. watched those. Who was he on Downton? He was one of the servants that um, the head butler, not the head butler, but the guy, the butler with the black hair. Right. Went Bates. after. Oh, no, that's, I'm thinking of Mr. Bates. Okay. Yeah, not, oh. not Bates. Maybe his name is Bates, isn't it? No, no, no. Bates is the, the, the guy with the limp. Oh right, yes. But I know who you're talking about. I don't. I don't remember him being a servant. Okay. I don't have red paint to make her hair red, so we're going to be going with a different color. Okay. I'm feeling some color. Let's think. Hi, Terry. It's Terry Lynn from Illinois. Hi, Terry. Hi. How are you, Terry? Glad you could join us. Let me see if I'm sub to you. Yeah, I don't think I am. I will do that. Let me click over on your channel here. I feel like her hair should be purple. I don't know. I think it'd be cool if her hair was silver. Nope. I am not sub, but I will sub to you, Terry. Silver, I don't have silver. It would be too metallic-y, and I don't think it would look right. Um, it would be too translucent, I guess. color I have. I have lots of pink and lots of blues, of course. Oh, I do have a yellow paint. I'm going to do her flower yellow. Make it like a sunflower. Maybe brown hair. Just regular old brown hair. What do you think? Oh, Jimmy Kent. Yes, he was a footman. Yes. Thank you, Jimmy. Footman, that was, yeah. So you've never seen Downton Abbey, um, Michelle? No, I haven't, actually. Oh, Michelle. I did binge watch it. I, I enjoyed it. it. I didn't start watching it till after it was off the air, but I binge watched it and I loved it. 
I watched it after it was off the air too, and I loved it, loved it, loved it too. I mean, there was parts where I was like, really? Like they were so ridiculous with being rich. So I was like, really? But <laughs> I've seen where they're coming out with a movie though. Yeah, I saw that too. Can't wait. Can't wait. Yeah, that's good. Now, does Netflix watch. have that? Do you know? If, does Netflix have have um, Downton Abbey? I haven't seen it on there. I think I watched it on Prime. On Prime? Right. Yeah, as I was gonna say, I haven't seen it on um, Hulu or Netflix. Grandma's Accessories says pink hair, Kim. Well, <laughs> thank you, Grandma, but I already started with the brown. <laughs> I was going to do pink, but I just did a lady with pink hair. I'll show you in a minute. Um. So I'm kind of wanting to depart and I want to make this a yellow sunflower. So I didn't think that um, the pink hair with the yellow sunflower would really go together. I'm with you, Deanna. That's Michelle it's Wells, Wells. Angie. Yeah, Michelle Wells. And the link to her channel is in the description box below the video. The same with Kimmy's. We have a Kim and a Kimmy here. I'm Kim, the one you're looking at right now. And then Kimmy is in the middle box. And then Michelle is in the first box. Um, so... I learned to kind of draw faces from watching YouTube videos about drawing faces. But one of my, well, a couple of my inspirations were um, a lady named Willow Wing, who, if you just type her name in the search bar on YouTube, you'll find her. She's an Australian lady and an artist, and I absolutely love her work. She's an I amazing, love, amazing artist. I love her name. Right? Great name. Shanny's here. Hi, sweet Shanny. How you doing, girl? Hope you're feeling better. Yep, me too. Everybody has been under the weather since the holidays. So how long have you been art journaling, Michelle? Actually, probably about eight months. Really? Yeah, it's just something that I didn't feel confident in doing. I don't <laughs> I wow, your work is amazing for only eight months. Thank you. And it's even shorter time for me. Your work is amazing too, Kimmy. Oh, no, I'm just starting out, but thank you. I just I really love it. I don't know why I kind of had in my head it had to be a certain way kind of thing. And now I'm just kind of look at it. Mm -hmm. I just find it really therapeutic. It um, is. You can get everything out. You can journal and scribble and, you know, you don't have to show anybody the pages or anything if you don't want to. Like, it's great. I have way too much paint on my desk now. I'm going to have to put some of that back. Oh, your husband has the flu, Deanna. I'm so sorry. Oh, goodness, girl. You guys have been through it. Really? My husband and daughter were sick, and I thought I was going to escape. Then I got the crud, and I'm on the tail end. Thanks, goodness. Thanks to antibiotics. I'm hoping I'm on the end of it finally. It's been three weeks. Today's the first day I woke up without my throat being sore for weeks. Well, that's good. Yeah. I had it's it still a little bit, but I had I have been drinking lots of tea and that's helped. I had it for three Today weeks. is my last last day in my forties. Yes, we all have to sing happy birthday to Kimmy. No, that's tomorrow. Well, we can sing uh, while everybody's here. Yeah. Today is my last day in my forties. Ugh. We say guys, should we sing Kimmy happy birthday? No, <laughs> tomorrow. We'll do it tomorrow. <laughs> Yeah, but they won't be here tomorrow. It's, I got one more day to deny that big number. Oh, my goodness. It's just a number. Yep. 
I keep trying to tell myself that. It's true. Oh. Michelle, are you older than me? No different. way. Yeah, I turned, Michelle, you're not. Are you older than me? Yeah, I turned 50 last August. Oh, okay. She's a little bit older than me. Yep. And you're not going to feel any different tomorrow than you do today. Nope. I guarantee it. I, I actually not. started feeling better, believe it or not. <laughs> right? Also, I won't be like cranky pants tomorrow. Hey, 50 is the new 30. That's what I'm going with. I, I can definitely get behind that. Pat, Deanne said you're a youngster. Thank you. Grandma's accessory said happy birthday. Thank you. All right, I'm going to use my heat gun, so hopefully it's not too loud. I got back into my yoga and everything else when I hit 50. <laughs> So I may not be done this today. <laughs> oh my goodness, Angie, don't tell her that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Do you want to click yeah. on me for a minute, Kim? Pardon? Do you want to click on me for a minute? Yeah, let me click over on you. Oh, pretty. Okay, so I just wanted to click on that because I'm in, in the process. I wanted to show like the steps. So you saw I used my matte gel over the whole thing, stuck down my tissue paper and my book paper. Then I took various gelatos. This is a gelato. It looks like a crayon because people have gelatos. asked about that. And I used two shades of blue, purple, and some pink because, again, this is my image. And now what I'm about to do is I'm going to use my Prima water brush and then that's the magic of gelatos i'm going to put some water on here and then see what they do can you see that love gelatos so it turns almost into like a watercolor situation and if your brush gets too saturated i just wipe it on um you know like my uh baby wipe so i just wanted to show if somebody had never seen gelatos before and they come in packs with different colors, or you can buy them singles at the craft store online. Yep. But can you see, is it showing on camera? Can you see what, it, what they do when you add water? Yep. Yep. It's gorgeous. I love gelatos. I need to get some more in my stash. But yeah, so I just picked these. Like you can see the blue and the purple right here, how great they're going together. Right. I love yeah. that. It's really nice. That looks so great, Kimmy. That, that's going to assist with my background so i just wanted to show that real quick before i blend it all together okay that's where i'm at just wanted to show that real quick <laughs> and you said i'm not going to lie to her i have fine parts of my body that hurts all the time yeah yeah, yeah. i already did that <laughs> and so does kim we both have pretty for a few minutes problems yeah and mobility issues if truth be told but yeah yeah <laughs> That was hurt long before 50. <laughs> yeah, right? It's strange. A lot of crafters have fibromyalgia. I've kind of wondered, but I haven't been checked. <laughs> but I don't want to add one more thing to my repertoire here. Yeah, seriously. Michelle and I have the diabetic situation yeah. going. And then Kim and I have the back problem situation in common. So, yes, we all... And that's one thing I do notice a lot of crafters are disabled or have health issues. And this is like our escape, our, you know, stress reliever and yeah. our happy place. And I love that everybody supports everybody, you know, with all that kind of stuff. And you can yeah. always talk to a crafty friend and they totally get that aspect of it. The yeah. therapeutic part. It's very therapeutic. Yeah. So I ended up with some um, Outlander packaging. My aunt had bought me a um, a necklace, and I just love the way it's got the uh, the Fraser tartan. Oh yeah, on the background. Oh. So I'm gonna. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. Yeah, see, it's got my. 
got my uh, both of my rings. I have to wear them on my necklace. <laughs> awesome. She worked at hey, Tor for a while. For you. Them out, so. Kimmy Terry said, "Don't fret, girl. Sexually, it will be the finest decade, and it's all downhill <laughs> after that. The last what? few months of my fifties, this aging gets serious now. <laughs> what?" <laughs> What? Hi, Terry. <laughs> Terry, I will be sure to pass it along to my hubby. <laughs> well, it sounds like you got 10 years of fun ahead of you, though. <laughs> if I could just get rid of the one kid that still lives at home, if she, we could get her out on her own, party time. Oh, Lord have mercy. <laughs> Goodness. Yeah. Oh, do you knit, Terry? I, I've been teaching myself how to knit. That's cool. I would yeah. like to do some crocheting. I, I would like to find something to do at night where I don't have to come in here. But I yeah, crocheting fit. is good, but I, I've been enjoying yeah. knitting. I didn't think I would. My grandmothers and my mother, when I growing up, they all tried to teach me to knit. They were all like prolific knitters. I could did not have the patience for it. Now that I'm old and a grandma myself, I do have the patience for it. Terry, do you do any, like, tatting or anything, Terry? Tatting I would like to learn. That would be awesome, yeah. I think Sierra does tatting. That, I, like, am in awe of that. I've got a sister-in-law that's got wicked skills with the, with the uh, yarn. You sure do. Penny is amazing. Isn't she? Yes. I love it. Well, now we're... Both of her, two of her daughters have actually picked it up. Oh, and that's great. Christmas, the eldest niece, she uh, made me some arm warmers. Oh, nice. Oh, I want warmers. some of those. And then uh, she said, she kept saying, I kept wanting to look at Claire's to see if I can make them like hers. <laughs> oh, right. The knitwear on Outlander is amazing, right? I, Kimmy, no. you have some, Kimmy, you have some arm warmers coming to you, my friend. Yay, arm warmers. I love mine. I'm just about warm out, I think. But uh, and then uh, Penny, a couple years ago, she got the pattern for Claire's uh, cows. Oh, yes, she has a gorgeous one that that her sister in law made for her. It's beautiful. The one that Claire wears in season one, I love. That was my favorite. The brown one. Yeah. Yep. She's got me one similar to that. She did make it a look just a slightly smaller, so I can't do the twist to it as much. It doesn't stay very well, but. I guess with time, it'll uh, loosen up. Yeah. Yeah, she... So I guess I'm kind of obsessed. <laughs> Just a little. Most people who watch Outlander are obsessed, and I'm so glad I found a community of women who are just like me with Outlander. <laughs> My husband goes, you do realize someday it will end. I was like, shh. It doesn't Ooh, matter. You can always mean, watch it again yeah, and reread really the books again. That's so, mean. That's what I told him. I said, you're being horrible. Well, the ninth book is coming out this year sometime, apparently. I know. My I husband know. comes out and sees me watching it, and he goes, you're watching that again? Well, like, that's, uh, what, yeah, that's what mine does. Of course. And I go, I hey, watch you're watching a Marvel movie again? You're watching the Avengers again? Thank you, Kim. <laughs> yeah, that's what I say. Yeah. I don't know what he was watching the other day, and I was like, oh, my gosh. You just watched this, like, two nights ago. Yep. I didn't see it oh, from you the don't chat, Sierra. I thought you did. Boys and their superheroes, man. Well, I mean, some of the superheroes are kind of easy on the eyes. I mean. Uh, yeah. Hello, Thor. Hello. <laughs> yeah. Aquaman. Oh, hello. Yep. We're saying. Yeah. Aquaman. And I yeah. actually like the, the, uh, the rather dapper... Tony Stark. Oh, yeah. You like Iron Man? Yeah. I like Iron Man, too, but I've always liked uh, Robert Downey Jr. I think he's just a really good actor. I have, too. I've had a crush on him since the 80s. Since the 80s, man. Yep. <laughs> 80s child. Yep. Oh, 
Oh, oh Deanna's husband watches the Home Alone movies over and over. Yeah. <laughs> My kids loved those when they were younger, Deanna. Stay warm, Terry. Mm, a cocoon cardigan. That sounds like something I'd like. Cozy. Yeah. That's looking good, Kim. It's cozy. Cool. Because you chose... Because you chose the brown hair, her flower really pops. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's kind of what I wanted. And, I and love it how takes you did a lot of layers to do something like this, like on a, but we'll try and move it along as quickly as we can. But yeah, I love mm -hmm. how you did the shading on her face and her neck and everything. See, I'm nowhere near good enough to do that because I don't even know how to do the face. And yet that shading stuff, I'm still kind of learning. Just takes practice, my friend. I've got some funny looking faces in my art journal, let me tell you, before I got to here. She looks really, really cool, though. I like that shading. I have a few that's funny and a few that's frightening. <laughs> right? Oh, the one I made was frightening, trust me. And it, you know, both Kim and my daughter told me, because I said, I just tried to, I tried to draw myself, because I'm like, I know my face better than anybody else. I'll try to draw my face. And both my daughter and Kim said, Mom, you know, Kim, you, you need to look at a picture and go off a picture. Yeah. yeah. And I was like, just drawing it from knowing my own face. And there we were both absolutely right. And I should have done that. Yep. It's uh, when I took art in high school, we were, we had to do a self portrait. And oh my gosh. Oh, that's it's hard. I think that's the hardest to draw yourself. It is. I think, I think you picked the hardest thing you could draw, Kim, was yourself. But you know why I did it? Because if I tried to draw my husband or one of my kids and I botched it, they'd kill me. Yeah, and but it, don't draw them. Draw, like, other stuff. like Because it would be, like, so horrible if I tried to draw them and it looked horrible. They would be like, oh, my God, it doesn't even look like me. You know, so I just decided if I'm going to botch it, I'll, I'll mess up my own face. But, you know, the thing is, what I found even though you don't consciously do it for me, it was, I know what I would like to change about my face. And I was trying, uh, trying the concept of, Oh, let's do this differently. Yeah. Needless to say, uh, when it, I, I flunked the self portrait in school. Oh, do it. Oh, that are still life. I can't sketch. I'm terrible at it. I'm getting a little bit tiny baby steps because um, I have one daughter that paints and one that sketches. So I'm trying to, the painting part I could get into, but it, you know, I have to, and like mixed media and stuff, but like the sketching part, I, I'm horrible at. So I'm trying to, I would love to take a, a class on that. Don't be so hard on yourself. I think you'd be really good if you just keep working on it. Yeah, yeah it just takes practice. Yeah, a lot. Yeah. Of get a bunch of scrap paper and watch yeah. some YouTube videos on how to do it. That's yeah, how I, watched, I learn. I watched the one on how to draw faces where they show you to block off the different sections of the face. Yeah. And that was super helpful. So I do need to do more of that. I, I take my um, art journal, you know, in bed with me at night and try to do different things. But you're right, Kim, I need to use like scrap paper not my art journal paper <laughs> you have, one of the things i found that's somewhat forgiving when you're trying to do a face is like copy paper and it's yeah. relatively cheap yeah that's a good that's a good idea too and then, you know if you don't like it just throw it and then go with the next one right i don't necessarily do the um whole lock thing when i sketch faces and stuff i kind of do the the cross in the face but i don't 
I just use it for the nose and then everything else I add. I don't I get rid of the grid after I add the nose. Right. It's, it's like the nose is the center part of the face and that's all I need to know. <laughs> Shannon, you're cracking me up, girl. <laughs> yes, Shannon said she drew a self-portrait recently, but it turned out quite good considering she drew a dragon. Oh my gosh. <laughs> but the, the, dragon she, the dragon she drew was amazing. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, seriously, I wouldn't, I wouldn't even venture to draw dragons. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by, Angie. Have a good day. Bye, Angie. Bye, Angie. Kim, I also like how you didn't put her in the center of the page. Yeah, that's well, I like this side for like mark making and whatever sentiment I want to do. So, okay, I gotta dig around for some stuff. It's wherever the pencil lands with me, pretty much. Also, you get your fingers in there, right? Yeah. I just love it when you lift something and you didn't move anywhere. What I drew her with, I started off with just a regular pencil, but then I go over her with this Stabilo All Pencil. Hey, Hi, Helen. Helen. And this is made by Stabilo, and it's called the All Pencil, but it is water soluble. Um, and why I like to do that is when I add my paints or water, then the outline moves a bit. And for me, I like it. Some people may not like that because, um, well, it just gets in your paint sometimes and sometimes it can be a pain, but um, I don't know. I just like it because it helps to move things. It helps with shading while you're painting and doing other things. Okay. Um, I just I'm like it. I'm taking mental notes. I love good shading pencils. Yeah. These are all things I need to ask Caroline about. She would know. Yeah, she probably knows about the Stabilo all pencils. Yeah. Bye, Debbie. Bye, Debbie. Have a good one. All right, let me kick over on the shelf. Oh my gosh, she's putting pictures on. Yep. <laughs> into the home stretch. I just thought about all the um, aspects that I really loved about this season. Okay, that's what I want my collage to be about. So. Scoot your page up a little bit, Michelle, if you can. Oh, oh it's Mercy and Jocasta. Love that you. part of the episode. Loved it, loved it, loved and it. Virgo and Marcy. Move it down a little bit. Hey, Michelle, did you see the meme that I sent you this morning that I tagged you in? No, I hadn't yet. <laughs> uh oh, it's gonna be a good one. That is yeah, amazing, Michelle. After we're finished, so yeah. you have to post that in all the Outlander groups because that is amazing. Oh, and you need to tag Sam and um, hey. uh, Kate on Insta with that for sure. I think. Well, I got I I follow Duncan too, so I'll have to tag. Yes, him. yes, yes. Yep. We all do. Yes. I love Duncan. Sorry. That's cool where you're at, Kenny. What? Let's see where you're at. Okay. I haven't gotten that much further, so. 
Hang on. I just glued something down, so give me one second. Okay, ready? I'm on ya. Okay, so I have my little Tim chipboard quote that says, use your wings down here. And then I've glued my image onto a piece of fabric. And it's got these navy blue embroidered little dots on it. Can you guys see that? Yep. Yeah, I, haven't glued her, I, haven't glued, I haven't glued her down yet because I'm about to get out my um, texture paste and my stencils. And then my final yeah. step, my final step will be like, um, you know, some mark making with my little pit pen and stuff. That is gorgeous, Kim. Thank you. I'm trying. So that's where I'm at for now. So I'm going to get out my stencils and my texture paste and see what we what we can do. Cool. And I might hit the edges with my um, Distress Oxide. Um, it's the, um, here, I'll show you guys. It's the vintage linen. So I'm just going to do a small, you know, swipe. It's one of my favorite colors. Yeah. So I'm just going to do some swipes around the edges like that. Is that showing on camera, Kim? Kind of. Yeah, I think it will, yeah. Yeah, yeah so I'm kind of doing that. You can hold it a bit closer to the camera. Yeah, now I see it. Yeah, so yeah. I'm going to do some vintage linen there. And now it's going to be stencil and texture paste fun time. Yay, stencil and texture paste fun time. And I might go through and <laughs> add little pops with my um, picket fence, like white um, distress crayon as well. Yep. I love the crayons. Anything Actually, like I'm that, gonna I use, love. I'm going to use oh. my Wink of Stella and add a couple little pops of this pink color as well. Because I love pink. You do? I know. Shocking, right? <laughs> What's your favorite color, Michelle? Tiffany blue. Duh. 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 <laughs> That's my favorite color. Anyone that knows her knows that, by the way. <laughs> I just want to share with you guys. I, these are something new I just got. They're called Stabilo um, Woodies. And these are used, I've seen a lot of art journalers use these. And, um, but they're good for kids too because they're very thick. Um, they're made from wood, obviously. Um, but they come in a lot of great colors. I got the 10 pack and then I bought the extra lilac because the 10 pack didn't come with a purple but i absolutely love them they have tons more colors and i'm probably going to get myself some more of those so oh wow yeah those are that's cool. what I use on her lips here and they're water soluble so you can do like big backgrounds with them like scribbling and then add your water or you can take your brush like i did here with the, with her lips and just touch it and then go in and paint very That's nice. What I do with her lips. So I'm going to be doing her eyes with this pretty blue color. So you just kind of put a little bit on it, and then it picks up like a watercolor paint. Awesome. Yeah. Nice. I get a bit too much water on my Thanks, brush. guys. And there's a nice flesh color too that I'll actually probably move on her face in a little bit. But you can see they the color shows up quite nicely. It sure does. And I've got a black here that I want to add a little bit to the center of the sunflower. Whoops, got yeah, some Don't dark. be good. That's no fun. What'd you say, Kimmy? I said, Deanna, don't be good. That's no fun. No. I'm just going to let that kind of sit there. Well, maybe we'll dry a bit of that. Where did I put my sensors? Oh. And 
And then you can also, if you've got a steady hand, which hopefully I do, because I use this, the Stabilo Awl to draw her, I just need a little bit of water to do her eyebrows. But I'll probably end up going over it with a, a permanent marker anyway. No, I just like having that option of, of doing a bit of water coloring as well. And I got those from um, a place called Thompson's Art Supplies. And I think they're based either in the UK or Sweden. It might be the UK. Yeah, I think I know you're talking about. I actually, I think, follow her on Instagram. Oh, no, not her. There's uh -huh. another Thompson's. Yeah, there's two of them. Oh, this is a oh. different one. Yeah, I know which one you're talking about. Okay. I follow her on Instagram, too. Um, but this is, like, just for, like, painting art supplies. Oh. Whereas I think the other one might be called Thompson's Craft Supplies. Oh, that's probably who it is. Okay. Yeah. Bye, Shannon. Love you, girl. Oh, bye, Shannon. Talk to you soon, sweetie. You're being good, Deanna. What's the fun in that? That's what I said. No point in doing that. I almost put my, my sleeve and my paint on my desk here. Oh, no. I do that all the time. Yeah. Yeah, I'll probably go around the edges of this with my marker just to make them a bit more crisp. But it does give you that nice little bit of shading. <clears throat> Give that a blast of heat gun. Okay, so let's see. What do I want to do next? It is looking so pretty. Isn't she pretty? I, I love like her lips. Like yellow color. I love her lips. One one. You know, lips, believe it or not, were harder for me than eyes. Really? really? Yeah. I don't know why. They just were... Huh. I want you to give her some sparkle somewhere. Well, that'll come. Okay. Yeah, there I did. Stuck my arm in my paint. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. That's what I do.
All right, let's clean that up before I get that all over myself. I do enjoy making a mess. <laughs> Me too. Sometimes you just right need there. to get your hands in paint, though, right? Right. I'm right there with you, Deanna. Growing up, my mom used to tell me that my grandma would say that if you're a messy cook, you're a good cook. So my philosophy is if you make a mess while you're crafting, you're a good crafter. Oh, hey, yeah, I like that philosophy. I like that philosophy for cooking and crafting because I'm a messy cook, but I, I think what I do know how to make, I make pretty well. My husband is a messy oh. cook and he's an amazing cook. I'm a messy cook. My husband always rubs his belly and says, yep, <laughs> you're a good cook. <laughs> okay, so I think what I've just got a couple more touches, then um, I can start filling in a bit more. Where's my... I have the flesh colored uh, woody here. So I'm just going to add a bit of pinkness to her cheeks with that. That is really neat. I'll probably use my, my brush to add a bit of water. I think, should, I think you should come on again with us, Michelle. We should do another Tandy art because I think Michelle would like that. Oh, yeah. Okay. Do you like working with digis, um, Michelle? I am learning how to. These digis you'll like. They're, they're. Check them out. Yeah. Yeah, you don't have to color them. <laughs> Which is my kind of thing. That's like, oh, I don't. Want yeah, to. I don't like to color so much either. Okay, I'll check them out and. See, and you make the mistake right there. We can fix that. Hi, Anastasia. Hey, Anastasia. How are you, hon? Okay, so. Gonna add a touch of the red to her cheeks. 
just to make it a bit more pink. Okay, we're all concentrating. I know. <laughs> I was actually just thinking, wow, we're all really quiet. <laughs> so now I'm going to go over her highlights here. Um, well, outline the stuff. I'm just going to give that a quick zap. But I'm going to use this Posca pen. Um, I love this pen. You can use varying different kinds of pens for outlining um, these Faber-Castell pit pens. I also have a Stabilo uh, super fine. This is like probably a bit too fine. Um, I think next time I'll get one that's got a bit of a bigger tip, but I like this. It's good for like journaling. Um, so I have that, but I think this one's probably my favorite, the Posca. Haha, <laughs> Deanna, you just saw the picture I tagged Michelle in. <laughs> <laughs> did you not tag me in it? I did. Okay, I have to go look. I haven't been yeah. on Facebook today. I got to go peek. So this kind of just adds your fine points to the image and just outlines it. Gives it kind of a nice edging to it, I guess. Okay, I went and peeked. <laughs> Pretty funny, right? Oh my goodness, yep. <laughs> I had to after we talked yesterday. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> it makes the points, this makes the points crisper on the flower, all that kind of stuff. And then I think what I'll do is I'll just make some little circles inside the uh, center of the sunflower here. So you kind of get the idea that it's a sunflower. That is so pretty, Kim. Oh, you're leaving, Deanne? It was good to see you. Thanks for coming. Oh, her name's Debbie. We've been calling you Deanne. Her name's Debbie Fletcher. <laughs> it says Deanne's Designs, Debbie Fletcher. Well, we're a bit slow. Or I am, anyway. I am today, too. I don't feel bad. So then I'll just go over all the, all the lines and everything. So that might be a little boring for people. but So let me click over on you, Kimmy, and you can show what you're doing with your texture paste and paint and stuff. Okie dokie. Okay, I can't really tilt it up because I've got some stuff drying. Well, hang on, let me see. Give me one sec. Okay, here is where I'm at. I have done my texture paste. You can see in the corners here and here. And I've taken some uh, metallic, what is it called? Inca gold paint from Folk Art and um, kind of put that around. You can see on my bottom where it says use your wings, I put a little bit of the Wink Estella and then the gold on that. And then on her actual wings here, I used some, let me see, it's from Renee's Bouquets. It's chunky glitter glass and the color's diamond. So I used cool. that on her actual wings right here. And then I just took some DecoArt um, Twinkles, this stuff. It's like paint with glitter, it's amazing. And I kind of put that here, there, and everywhere. 
And you can't tell, but she's on there with some foam pop dots to just make her rise up a little bit. And then um, what I was going to do now was just go in with my um, pit pen and do some mark making. And then she is about done. Unless That's anybody so else, awesome. Unless anybody else has some suggestions for me. That's beautiful. You've done great. I love it. Yeah. I love all the sparkies and the colors. Oh, and I think I'm going to go back in and I'm going to put some mica powder around as well. That's gorgeous. My, mica powder, heat tool, pit pen, and then she's going to be finished, I think. She's gorgeous. Thank you. So that's Let it me for me. Over on you, Michelle. All righty. Hi, Vanessa. Hi, Vanessa. Right now, all I'm doing is taking and using some of the um, words from Tim Holt's big chat, but I think kind of signifying the different relationships and things in the, the stories in the show. So if you see that there, I'm going to pull it up for you. I'm going to secure them down a little bit. So pretty. I love it. You know, that one picture of Jamie and Claire on yes. the top page where they're holding hands on the ridge. That is yes. probably one of my favorite photos of them. <laughs> Mine too. I keep going over the different photos from this season that I kept finding. And I'm like, I have to go with that one because it's where it started. So yeah, where I'm at, I've added some tattered angels um, just by using the, uh, the sprayer tip and drizzle, you know, some of the color around. This color is actually called tattered leather. <laughs> I think I'd remember. So it kind of gives it more of that aged look. And it made me think of Jamie's coat, to be honest, because of it. I love his coat. I love the distress yeah. from his coat. That's awesome. Yeah. So it's kind of a stressed looking and things. Yeah. That's where I'm at right now. So I'm going to re-secure all the words that I'm adding just to make sure they stick. Awesome. Let's see where I go from there. <laughs> Love it. Thank you. Gorgeous. We'll click on me. So I've gone around and highlighted everything. And then now I need to find my white Sharpie. We'll add some dots to her eyes so she doesn't look like a zombie. Oh, that's gorgeous. I absolutely love the background. That is so pretty, Kim. Yeah, it really is. So easy to do, right? Just smush down some paint, stencil, wipe it back. Like, couldn't be simpler. So I usually take my white Sharpie at this point and add highlights to, you know, like her nose and her chin and here, and then I kind of just rub it in. Just to places that you know would be, you know, more highlighted. Right. And then um, I've given her a little heart earring here. So at this point, what I do usually, and I'll show you a page I just did, a couple I just did actually. Um, these ones here I did, and you can see in the background, they have a lot of like different, oops, I can't really see that one, a lot of different things going on in the background. I know her eyes are crooked. See, oh. I can't see faces very good either sometimes. Those are adorable. Look this at that. Oh, I love the one on the left. I love her hair. Yeah. Oh, wow. So, but you, and you can't see, but there's writing in her hair, but I did it in white. So, but I journaled in her hair. And then I just doodle in the background. It's something you easy you can do. And then I did this cool chick, which I think she's like giving some side eye. <laughs> They're both beautiful. Right? So, you know, it takes practice. Deanna said they're amazing. I love, oh my gosh. The gal on the left with the big hair. Right? I know. I like her too. She's kind of my favorite so far. But, you know, I just started making some marks and I gave her a necklace and just hearts and flowers. And I may still do a bit more on her. So that's what I will do in the background here on her. 
and just kind of like I may even go around some of these images in the stencil here and just kind of draw these in, you know, with my marker. Right. I've got a bigger art drawer. I need to do things like that in it, I think. I bought one. And Simon I says stamps. I got this. I got mine at Hobby Lobby. I think I got mine yeah. at Hobby Lobby. She I needs to have a few story. things in it, but not a lot. I wasn't happy with the direction it was going, but I think I could actually utilize it to do things like the, you know, get back to trying to draw. It's been years. I did find my old uh, high school art pad from years ago when I did draw people. <laughs> That's cool. Completely flipped my niece out. <laughs> I, one of, drawing was one of my most favorite things to do when I was a kid. I spent hours doing it. I loved, loved it then, but I just spent so many years getting away from it. And when I started getting back into creating, I ended up doing the whole you know, gambit of arts and crafts and that's So like I could draw here, I could draw some like squiggly lines that kind of come out of her hair and do this. Like you can just doodle and doodle and doodle and that's kind of the fun thing about um art journaling as you can do whatever that's i think that's why i'm falling in love with it just yeah because it's so free I but i'm telling you if you're going to art journal these two things are your best friends the black and the white pens oh yeah <laughs> i'm really having a good time with this one yeah you need both of these yeah absolutely i agree um, I, a lot of people use Posca in white. I do want to get one, but I've been quite happy with the Sharpie in white. Um, it does pretty much everything I want it to do. It makes great dots. I have to admit. Maybe we'll just throw a few in here too. Give her lips a bit of shimmer here, like she's got some lippy on. Girl's got to have a good lip. She does. <laughs> so let's see, what did I do on her? Oh, yeah, I did some flowers and a banner. Like, there's the you can do anything, you know. So what I'll do is I will finish this because um, it won't be done today probably because I could I could sit here for two hours and just doodle. Um, but I will post some finished photos in the Angel Dream Crafts book um, Facebook group. Can't wait to see you're done. Yeah, I think she'll be pretty. I mean, the thing about art journals is anything goes. You can draw whatever you want in her hair. She can do or be anything. It is kind of freeing with that. I do, I do like it. Yeah. No rules, like I said. I always say that, but it's so true. That's what I'm loving about it. Yeah, and it just, I don't know, every time you open your art journal, something different happens. That's well, what I, I, love, I love doing art altered canvases, even. Yeah, oh, yeah, me too. Kind of a different way to do a canvas, really. An extension, I guess you'd call the canvas almost.
I think I'll give her hearts a little white. I do have other markers, but I think what I might do is just give her like this cool kind of, I don't know, braid or something down the side here. Let me think. Hmm. Or maybe here. And basically it's just like circles and dots and lines and remark making. That's really neat. Stars, triangles, hearts, really just basic shapes. But you can circles, you can get a lot of mileage out of them, triangles, anything. I think I kind of like that, but I kind of want this one to go off that way how are you making out Kimmy I'm just about done So these are just like basic lines I'm putting in her hair and then dots. And you don't have to use black and white. I just like the black and white. Oops. But the one I did on this page, I did her piece in her hair in blue, like a metallic blue marker that I had and the white dots. Gorgeous. And it kind of looks like she has beads in her hair. That's awesome. Okay, Mayor. Thank you, sweetie. I hope uh, everything goes okay. I'll message you later with your uh, bathroom reno. All right, let me click over on you, Michelle, before we call it. How are you making out? Putting my finishing touches on now. <laughs> Ooh, what you doing? I'm using um, Tattered Angels baseboard paints and using just a little bit of the, it's actually called Sandy Beach. It's an ivory color. Nice. And using it to oh. flatter a little bit. Just to add a little bit of texture around the pages. I love that. I just find that the splatters at the end just add that. They add a certain something to it. So while those are drying, I can lift this up and let everybody see. I'm going to get it in the right position soon. Oh, so pretty. So, so pretty. So. If I can bring in the so what I've done is I've done a little bit of die cutting with some uh, stag heads that also I found a pattern very similar to the uh, Fraser tartan and I've cut cups you know stag heads out used a cameo of course for Aunt Jacosta and then uh, use some fiber yarn on top of some thistle here just to add a little more texture and then some I love the stag heads. I thought they added a little something different in it. Yeah, it's very, it 
adds the North Carolina aspect, the new world aspect. It does. It has the Scottish and the North Carolina in it for sure. Right. right. And then, uh, like I said, I just chose the words. You know, for me, it was, of course, John Gray. He's charming. Yeah. Love and mm -hmm. pasta and Myrta. And then you've got the possibility with Reed Roger and right. our brave young Ian. <laughs> yeah. Hi, yes. Ian. That's, right. that's it. Awesome. Yay for Outlander. I'm real happy to play. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Kimmy, let me click on you, girl. Okay. Just trying to get texture paste off my stencil because that's fun. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you got to soak them right away, especially with the gritty stuff. Yep. Yep. Okay, so here I am. I love It's so colorful. I love it. It makes me happy. I um, did a lot of drops of, let me see, what are they? They're Liquitex um, inks. Um, and then alcohol inks. I wanted to put some green because there's some green in there too. And then I did add a couple little pieces of printed paper. It was actually, um, it's actually a bag. And I just ripped off a couple of pieces and put it here because I had the roses and the flowers, which she's got in her dress. Oh, cool. um, and then I did, you can't really see, but I did some mark making, like you can see some dots down by the chipboard quote. Um, I did some little squiggles around here and then I outlined some of the part, like I outlined her wings and outlined her dress. Very nice. And will you ladies both be posting photos on your social media? Yes, absolutely. Yes, I will. Thank you, okay. Deanna. Um, and then I did put some gold, um, the ink of gold paint on this fabric because it looked too clean to me. So I wanted to like, you know. Oh yeah, that's a real nice touch. Mess it up a little bit, so. Very nice. Oh, Tanya. Hi, girl. We're just finishing up. <laughs> Hi, Tanya. That's New York. So anyway, here's, this is my finished page. And like I said, I'm still new to this. So um, I have a hard time. I have a hard time deciding when I'm done, but I think I'm done with her. <laughs> it's very beautiful. Oh, no, wait a minute. That's not Tanya. Tanya is New York glitz and nails. This is New York freestyles it all. Sorry, I don't know your name, sweetie. <laughs> I get the New York confused. See my big old Matt gel sitting there. Everybody loves the colors, Kim. Very beautiful. Oh, I love thank all the you. texture you've added. See, oh, I was a little scared to add the green because that's not really in my wheelhouse, but I saw there was a little bit of green in the background, so I thought I'd better not just stick with the colors I like. So Very I nice added a little bit of the green in there, too. Very nice. It is, Tanya. Did you change your name? Or am I just having a brain fart? <laughs> Which that could be possible. I love the green, Kimmy. I think the art journals are a great place to um, play with color. Yep. And get used to using color. Okay. Thank you. I like oh, the tools and I like the, the glass on her wings. I think I like that yep. sparkle. I did add some mica powder. I don't know if you can tell, like, on this, what the texture pasting is, it's got the pink tinge to it because that's mica powder. Oh, yeah. Yep. And then down here, I added some purple mica powder on the texture paste down there. Love mica powders. They're one of my favorite things to craft with. I'm going to call this page done. Awesome. Very pretty, Kim. And then me, I'm not done. <laughs> but what I'm going to do is add a bit more to the side here, just some doodling. I'm probably going to add some stickles to the flower. Yay, think, stickles. Notice I, I did not use of, any stickles, Kim. I <laughs> noticed. I'm very happy and proud of you, Kimmy. Well done. <laughs> um, and just keep my keep doodling until, you know, I'm happy with it. But that's basically how I do a face and a background. Um, you can see the background was super easy, just blob and paint on, stencil, and take a baby wipe and, and wipe it back. It's a really easy technique to do. Um, and I would recommend Willow Wing. There's several people out there. Nikita in Wonderland is another one who I love. Mixed Media Jen. I love all those people. DD Catrone, I love. Um, 
that's where I learned the mark making from was more from mixed media Jen and DD Catron. Um, so there's a lot of great people out there on YouTube that you can learn art journaling from. Um, so I love her definitely. choker and I love like her jewelry and stuff. Perfect. Really pretty. Yeah. Love it, love so it. So I'm hoping that I get some nice faces and then I think I'm going to scan them and maybe make them available in digital form. That's awesome. For people, I think that's what my goal, my end goal will be eventually. Thank you, Deanna. She said they're all amazing projects. Oh, thank you. Yeah, it was fun. And thank you, Michelle, for being here today. And I'm hoping that you'll be back yes. again soon. I would Thanks, love to. Michelle. You are welcome anytime. And we will see you guys next Tuesday. Sorry we're ending up now, Tanya. I know you just got here, hon. <laughs> but we will see you guys next Tuesday at 11 Eastern. Hi, everybody. And be good. Have a good week. Sub to Kimmy and Michelle. The links to their channels are in the description box. And all the other links are down there, too. So um, we will see you guys very soon. Mwah! Love you all. Bye. Bye. Bye.